first find a model in this case from Colts uh, this is the 301 that I've been using in this video buy it and then download get your files drag them into the software in this case I am using Bamblab Studio for my Bamblab printer Switching over to gray filament. I am twisting this this way. Getting all your settings in order and slice. Everything looks good. And we can print it. out your parts so you don't miss any parts I probably have missed some parts but we will see now we will start to assemble parts and also glue them together Save time. Okay. 
now we mix colors to get the correct color. Shaking the bottles. Now let the paint dry and we clean the airbrush. Before it's fully dry, we're starting removing the masking. So if something, some paint has come under the masking tape, we have a chance to remove that before it's fully dry. We have a little bit of a blue here. I have a little blue on the edges here because I didn't mask perfectly on these ones. But that is intentional. We will have dark lines everywhere around this. So this will be covered in that way instead. So next step is painting the bottom part of the magazine. I have mixed colors in the airbrush, a little bit of gunmetal and silver. We will see how this looks. If it gets a little bit too light of a silver, we can darken that down with some black. But we will start with this and try. You have, there is, you can buy wash paints that are made for this for uh, models. Uh, I usually do the wash and the, um, wash and uh, uh, shading at the same time. And I'm using normal uh, uh, black primer and I mix that with flow improver so you, so you, you mix these like uh, uh, two part is three uh, four part is more or less uh, and you mix that in an old bowl or something and then this will not drop this is made the, the primer is made to dry very fast I don't like it so I don't I want to use this to make it be, uh, not dry as fast plus that uh, it's not that much pigment so we have primer I'm gonna mix in a little bit more flow improver and we're gonna mix this and we're gonna use the airbrush and spray on and then also use it to do the weathering.
Now we go over to the dry brushing stage. We're using a dry brush or um, dry brush paint, or we're gonna use any silver paint that you have, or metallic paint. What you, depends on what kind of effect you're after. Uh, in my case, I use um, a dry brush brush. It's made for this. You can also use. As I did before, I cut off a bigger brush just so you have fewer, like shorter straws. When doing dry brushing, you have to think how the gun is being used and how it can be wear down, so you don't have uh, wear on items on places where it's illogical for it to be. We remove the paint on towel. Remove, remove, remove. We are trying to get this to almost not paint anything. Then we only have a small, small percentage of paint left in the brush. Much. Uh, you can use a little bit more paint in the brush when you're using on lighter colors when you need more silver. But when doing straight on black, you need very little paint. We're gonna try with that. We will need more paint later, but we will start with this. So now, if a line is going this way, we use the brush in 90 degrees direction. I usually try to start painting on the side I know I'm not gonna have showing all the time. So if you do mistakes, you do the mistakes on this side and then you can go to the other side and you know learn from your own mistakes. So you start on this off side you're not using. I didn't like the red from the filament of these, it looks kind of orange. So we're gonna use dark red. I don't remember if they were red in the game, but I like mine red. I like this to stand out a little bit. There we go. That's the R301. Should be printed and painted.
So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. God damn it. Okay.